foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash berlinexplorer. So welcome to this 50 minutes of experience. Today I'm with Lao Siesi from Shanghai, but uh, he's from Italy and this is really nice for me to have this uh, uh, talking with you. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, yeah, for the public, uh, the name is Lao Sisi, but uh, what is your name? Then <laughs> we probably can relate better to your persona. Uh, well, uh, uh, I try to use this uh, fake name for a specific, uh, for a reason. So first one, because uh, as a foreigner living in China, what I'm doing uh, it's not illegal, but you never know the the border or when you become something not acceptable from the Chinese government. So that's the reason also why I prefer keep my identity a bit uh, mystery. So, so, so I will just that. refer to you and just refer to you with the law. It's okay for me. It's, uh, it's not yeah. a problem about that. And uh, okay. so, so Lao, so it will be really nice if you can introduce a bit uh, about your figures uh, in, in this world in photography, not only because you are also related to this erotic world in China, and uh, in a way also the, the trash and no political uh, reference. Uh, so tell a bit about uh, you, then uh, the people doesn't know anything about you, can know better who you are, and then we go a bit more deep in some question I have for you. Okay, so basically I... I'm a foreigner living in China for five years already in Shanghai. And uh, I start this project called Lao Xixie like a few years ago from... Uh, so I'm, I'm not a photographer. I want to start with this point. I came from a visual uh, background. So I, came, I, I work in advertising industry and uh, all my passion are I came from graffiti I came from uh, from this world so visual aspect is something or in my back in my background but one day I mean I work out with a lot with a photographer to shoot campaign and something like that and one day one of my friend just gave me as a present a film camera so that's why I start to do something uh, I like it, you know, something was on my mind, but I cannot ask people to do it because usually uh, on my work, I need to come up with idea and then I need to have photographer, blah, 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 and then they shoot it. This time there was no client, there was no uh, other figure, it's only by myself. So it's, it was really a, a freedom. It's a freedom project for me. So one day I just start to do what I really like it. Yeah, yeah it's and, really clear that it's a freedom project. Yeah. <laughs> so in the beginning was not the easy because uh, I, I don't have any portfolio. I don't have any background also to to ask model to, to pose for me, you know, yeah. especially when you are, you are a man in a, in a, in an Asian country. So it's very easy where there is this misunderstanding, maybe, I don't know, uh, he asked me to take picture and then uh, he want to just have sex uh, or uh, this kind of thing. Yeah. But to be honest, as I say, uh, it, it was artistic project for me. So I try to keep it, very professional, very, very pure. Like, okay, I want in my mind, I want this picture. So I want to do everything for Avid. That was my mental process, let's say. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's interesting and nice that, and uh, uh, I'm really, it's really funny because I also come from graffiti and uh, in a way or another, from the visual part, from uh, advertising, uh, so creep creativity in the visual communication and I also got uh, that point uh, watching at your picture because they are 
uh, not uh, really related to erotic photography picture. There is, uh, yeah, for sure, this uh, uh, similarity with, uh, with uh, Ren Ang also, yeah, to work in, on this uh, passionate way, way, but also it's uh, really similar to uh, some technique uh, of uh, Nobuyo Sheragi. So yeah, the, the word, the Asian word there is there. And uh, yeah, there is also your uh, roots uh, um, visual uh, in, in your picture. At, at, uh, I don't want to say the, the city, but uh, yeah, it's there. Uh, it's clearly. Um, and uh, what what is interesting also is that, uh, yeah, for sure, uh, in China, it's uh, uh, probably uh, not really common doing this kind of work also is, uh, if uh, i have a main experience with chinese photographer that i know a lot of them they're doing this kind of works um but yeah i understand also the things that to keep the anonymously uh, name that because the government is in a way or another uh, always influent in the in the society and uh, uh, first of all, I want to know um, what is uh, um, one of the experience, probably also the first experience you had to start to shoot uh, for real erotic uh, uh, nude pictures. Uh, um, so first one, yeah, I, I, um, there is some influence from uh, Renang, that's for sure. But um, I don't know, I don't like when the people, they say, oh yeah, you do Renang stuff. I mean, yeah, Renang maybe start, even, I mean, first one was not Renang, yeah, yeah, it was sure. Fengli, it was Fengli to do this Fengli. kind of style in the beginning, and also 2 to 3 then Renang become more popular in the... Yeah, in the end, the Renang become popular as uh, Vivian Meyer when he died <laughs> in the end. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, because he have a very strong uh, taste, because yeah. they have, I mean, family, yeah, you have, uh, but the other people, they are not that strong than him, you know? Yeah. So even in a Western uh, point of view, he was the best one. Yeah. So it's like, you know, for me, Renange is kind of, um, so he start a style, then everybody can, it's like, uh, I don't know, uh, cubism. You know, it's not if you do cubism or other style in the in the painting, you are not copy that that painter. You just take inspiration of the of the of the style. So uh, this is what I think. To be honest, is yeah, yeah so for sure it's, it's an then influence. It's just an influence. Yeah, then you do your own. I, I will never say the... that uh, if you you doing the style of Renang because your style is not of Renang. It's a mix uh, really between the Japanese, Asian in general, but there is a lot of uh, European culture. So that's uh, we cannot say because Renang is uh, really, uh, as you said, uh, has a strong taste, but it's also sometimes really cruel in the in some images that uh, not. Uh, I mean, there are many pictures of him I don't like at all, uh, and probably. Also, because the way he show uh, some bodies, and uh, you don't have this cruel part, for example. Yeah, and also I think the the, the Asian, I mean, the Chinese photographer, they have this kind of uh, poetry in some way. You know, they are very oniric. Uh, I'm I'm very straight. You know, what I want, I want to, I want my the people saw my picture. They see what I want, you know. They don't want to too much. Uh, that is the my, straight, straight to the point. Very uh, like a punch in the face. This is what uh, what I want, and I hope I I, I get it. To be honest. Yeah, it's, it's, and then it's, another. It's good. This is really good. I think. And another thing, I mean, I was lucky because I I start to shoot uh, back to the question. I start to shoot uh, uh, in the right moment because uh, back. I mean, two years ago, China was very open. So even the new generation, the generation Z, as uh, advertising people call, uh, was changing the the background. So there are people with very freedom. They 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 like show their body. They don't care about the judgment of the old generation. Yeah. Then after two years i mean in, right now the situation is changing again because in china everything is super fast and after covid the the country start to be more close again so now it is is one year almost i don't shoot anymore because uh, uh 
I, I'm afraid to to some uh, to some issue, yeah. so I decide uh, to to stand by a bit the project for my personal uh, yeah, health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's uh, probably I can understand the the situation at all. I mean I was three years uh, in a relation with the Chinese girl, so I know many things about uh, Chinese country. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can understand totally the reason why. And uh, uh, in a way, this is also, um, I think, uh, uh, limiting uh, uh, your uh, inspirational part. So in a way, it's, you are uh, uh, accumulating, you know, Uh, some uh, ideas uh, and some uh, also uh, way you want to express yourself and that you don't have the freedom to express yourself anymore and uh, how do you combine that emotion all together where where this emotion uh, going by right now so if you can uh, right. if you can right now with, uh, anything in base of this project how do you direct this this emotion Uh, right now i'm very frustrated in a creative way first uh, because uh, yeah the country is uh, is getting closer and closer there is no no more freedom also to go out of the country so before when you live in china you can take a plane and go to taiwan uh, japan and take a break and now you cannot anymore so this is One, for one thing very important and then also yeah also the taste of the people in China now they become more local and local every day so even in my work where before they ask a foreigner ice now they want they prefer some some local one mm. so this moment of my life to be honest is very tough and uh, yeah for many points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so you are you are in a way considering to move away from China. I think it's something uh, I will I will have to do soon. I don't know when, but I think uh, one day I have to to leave this country. So I try to get as much I can right now, and when I arrive the moment, uh, I will do it. That's my <laughs> my philosophy. Yeah, sure, because yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, for sure in a way or another, uh, you come from a country, from Europe, uh, that uh, we can say, you know, our country uh, gave us uh, the freedom, I mean, in a way, like, uh, not really the freedom, because our society, our government doesn't give us the freedom, but I think uh, give us uh, the believing and to be free, so then we belong to be free more than what... Uh, we can i mean uh, in a way i come from the south you come from from the north so then it's it's different uh, but yeah this is what i felt about uh, the our state is for sure we have freedom to express ourselves but in a way we are not really supported then to express ourselves in an economical way for example or also in a, in the intellectual way sometimes so i'm really curious to know what kind yeah. of country would you choose after china Uh, probably yeah japan can also host you better uh, or fit uh, in uh, your uh, um, work uh, as a as a photographer also as a visual artist probably or yeah even uh, uh, probably some asian country if you want to keep uh, still on the asian country also for i think the uh, these skills you got uh, to talk in chinese no that uh, uh, i mean yeah it's 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 a language that uh, when i think uh, that uh, uh, it's really easy uh, then to learn japanese for example because it's really clearly similar to italian uh, slang i mean uh, the the tone of voice and uh, you can read in chinese in a way or another and most of the character in japanese they are uh, come from the chinese culture and this are the same meaning but change the word and then you have just to learn two alphabet that's uh, hiragana katagana of japanese and that's all and you did it i mean it's easier way uh, to to approach to a new language in asia 
but uh, anyway, this was totally totally off topic. Uh, but yeah, uh, to belong. No, you're right. Experience. You're right. I mean, I I, li I live in Tokyo for uh, for one month, and in that month I learned more more word than uh, five years in China. So yeah, because <laughs> in in China it's totally different. Also, that uh, you have these four tones, so that it's uh, this come really difficulties. I think when you learn new words, you don't say uh, a thing is that another. Uh, this is really complicated, and I think also in China that's uh, it's not like Russia uh, that everyone speaks the same language with the same tone. In China, change uh, totally the tones from yeah, north, a lot. north, uh, east, uh, west, and blah blah. So uh, mm, you got uh, uh, I've seen uh, many different uh, uh, collaboration with your photography work, uh, and for sure on Instagram uh, I cannot see at all what is your main. Uh, uh, full uh, archive of uh, in your portfolio and uh, yeah unfortunately your website is not there anymore so I will only figure out with my mind what uh, what uh, uh, you hide in your archive and <laughs> ask, ask to myself if uh, are you thinking to to um, publishing something in the future or are you working on publishing something and if you would lo love to doing that yeah, I, I was planning before to publish a book uh, with a French um, editor. Then uh, this shit happened, uh, and and then I put everything in standby. And to be honest, I, I feel a bit frustrated about this because I really have a lot of nice picture, and um, and it's something you know. It's, it's in my life, I want to have one book. To just man, to have man, it. don't be frustrated. I publish you. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't be frustrated i don't give a fuck of the covid <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah you have i don't know i don't know how someone can stop with the pandemic uh, i mean uh, for me it was uh, the best moment of, of my life uh, that uh, to to remake a logic on myself and to start to think in a different way to for uh, what uh, i like to do i mean i started i stopped to to walk and i started to think and for me, it was a, a moment of uh, pure uh, uh, creativity and uh, uh, embracing of knowledges. For me, it was an amazing moment. And, uh, and uh, I never stopped to doing anything. And yeah, that's why now it's uh, for me a great moment that uh, to groove and groove and groove without stopping because I didn't stop at all. I, I did the double of before. And this is interesting how did you live the pandemic there how did you uh, how did you really react at us in the photography way <sighs> honest it was um, i mean the the real lockdown in, in shanghai was about uh, uh, two months two three months then everything become normal again. I mean, you need to show green pass and wear mask in the uh, inside place and blah yeah, blah blah. All this stuff, yeah. I mean, the the most big issue is about you cannot leave the country, come back. So uh, for your mental health as a foreigner, that is a big uh, is a big deal because uh, China is a nice country. They give you a lot of opportunity, uh, but also it's a very uh, stressful place. I mean, Shanghai as a, yeah. as a city place and Chinese. Uh, there are Chinese good, but there are also Chinese that are <laughs> very <laughs> difficult to support. So that's that's one thing, that's for sure. And then also the fact uh, I, I'm afraid that to, after the country become more closed and everything like that is a bit risk for my career uh, for my uh, for my persona. So that's the only thing but to be honest i mean uh, if you are chinese and uh, you live in china uh, the pandemic doesn't have any effect to, to the life yeah, yeah totally it's it's uh, for sure uh, like that i mean here in berlin if i were to tell you there was a lockdown i mean i would lie to you <laughs> i mean difference between uh, italy that i was three months in italy in lockdown i was three months in the house without going out and here the lockdown I never saw someone was closing in the house. 
never, no one day, there was no one day. <laughs> so it, it, it's totally, you know, totally different. Uh, but um, uh, I, I'm really interested to know if you if you got it uh, then uh, in the in this period, uh, also different uh, kind of uh, pictures uh, for different, I mean, for your personal interest, uh, uh, if you shoot it also different topic. No, 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 no. I um, I start to to shoot some sometimes when I travel when I travel in other uh, uh, secondary or third city in China. I bring my camera and I shoot maybe some local stuff uh, because sometimes I also like mix um, the erotic stuff with the normal uh, yeah, ch- Chinese. Good. Thing. So I just do because uh, in my mind one day if I leave China I still have a good uh, archive and picture to post yeah. it. I yeah, just totally. do like. I mean, this yeah. is the point of my question. It's uh, sometimes yeah, it's not really. I mean, uh, I started to understand the the real project start to burn when you don't think about the project, and then you are totally free to shoot and to create what else you want. And then you one day you open your archive. I mean, in this case, me as an editorial curator. Uh, I enjoy a lot to open the archive of people where there are thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures and start to make puzzles as a child. And uh, this is the best way, you know, you start to find a lot of connection uh, reading the picture of people. So I just ask you this last question. It's for me is what, uh, what kind of experience you would love uh, to doing uh, in the next near future? If you have a dream now, something you want to do, it is not also related to photography in general. What kind of experience you would like to do it? Well, to be honest, yeah, publish a book is something uh, I feel I want to do it uh, and feel sad when I think maybe I lost the opportunity. So this is one thing, uh, to be honest, sometimes I, I want to do it and finish the project with other couple of picture I have in my mind, but I still don't have the, the braveness to shoot it. So I think I need just to, to shake myself and say, hey, come on, just do it. And then uh, I'm, I will be happy. So this is the, the, the thing I think I want to do. Then in my private life, other stuff, I have a, a list, but... <laughs> <laughs> photography way yeah so so this was Lausius here and uh, don't forget this name because it's the only name you can hear from this podcast and uh, uh, it's the only name you can uh, uh, hear in the near future about uh, uh, this way to shoot uh, the Chinese country also before and after the pandemic that uh, for sure we will have a resonate uh, sounds uh, in the photography I'm sure about that. And uh, I thank you a lot for, uh, for your time, for uh, the calling, for the meeting you and to, to uh, sharing this experience, I, I think. And I'm sure that we can have many, many others in the future. And uh, thank you a lot. Thank you so much for hosting me and uh, keep doing. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our podcast learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash berlin explorer or visit our instagram and follow berlin explorer project 